Perfect. So thank you very much. Uh, that was great. Um, I recently came back from my vacation in Hawaii and as is quite common in the United States to have a car, I rented one to get around. And what I got looked like that. It's simple, it's standardized and it's convenient. Well, I don't know all of the features of it, but most of you will agree that anyone with a license will be able to handle that one, right? And so it is with web development. You don't need to know all the hacks to get some solid work done. But if it comes to the development of email templates, especially responsive ones, the complexity we are facing is more like this. What I want to share with you today is how we enabled our developers to get that thing handled right. And so brought back the fun to email templating. I'm Dirk, I'm a senior software engineer at Netcentric. I'm doing Adobe campaigns since three years and AM since nine years now. But let's get directly started. This is the template we want to talk about today. And yes, I'm serious, this is 1,156 lines of HTML. The biggest pain with email templating is the rarity of clients and what of the HTML and of the CSS standards, those support or don't support. There is literally no standard that ensures a proper display across all devices and all clients. And it got even worse in past years with mobile devices dominating the consumer market. Marketeers had to review and test their templates over and over again to make them work with all the display ratios and display sizes. While well, we did such projects and we built those huge HTML pages, split them up into AM components and we achieved a quite high standard editing experience. Though the costs were high, the maintenance costs are still high and there are likely some defects left. Luckily, it's not only us facing those issues, and especially MailChat put some effort in standardizing the way how you can template emails. And they started a project internally called MGML, which is the MailChat markup language, as the backend for there, what you see is what you get editor. Um, basically, MGML is an XML dialect that puts on top an abstraction layer on HTML and CSS, particular for, for emails. So they open sourced the project in 2016 and we integrated it in 2018-2019. So the exact same email template in MGML looks like that and actually rendered by AM. Now it's only 223 lines of code. And with our integration, it has the exact same editing experience, the exact same AM features you can use. Well, it's just what is in the back that changed and measured in lines of code, um, we expect uh, the reduction of the development efforts to approximately 20%, but it's five times more efficient than what you do with regular HTML emails. So how did we do that? How did we enable MGML in AM? And I want to walk you through step by step in this. Um, basically, MGML and AM is a natural fit. Both know about components like tags and images, but also about paragraphs and paragraph systems. But MGML is entirely written in JavaScript. And if you install it on NPM, you install 470 dependencies. And those dependencies, they have even dependencies to the native APIs of Node. So what we implemented is an integration layer and we de deploy three artifacts or four artifacts in, uh, in particular. A binary distribution of Node, MGML itself, packaged with all its dependencies so we don't download anything from NPM. Then we have the integration layer and some foundation components similar to the core components Adobe is offering. Basically all starts with a request towards AM. It doesn't matter whether it is Adobe campaign syncing the email template when you create a delivery or if it's the browser of the editor creating the template. Well what happens in AM is instead of having one thread responding to it we have three. The one that is actually rendering your template we have an MGML processor, which is forking a Node.js process and managing it. And we have MGML itself running in a node. From an operating system perspective, this is all three threads. So what happens in AM? You render your page like you would do for any other HTML page. And it goes through a processing pipeline where we have transformers, you name it. At the end, we have a serializer, and that serializer buffers what MGML or what we render as MGML and hands it over to Node.js. Node.js then transpiles it and returns it the same way to AM. And finally, AM also responding to the client's request. 
So that all happens in one request. And there's one thing I want to highlight here because some might have doubts that three threads might be a bit of an overhead. And yes, that's true. There is a little overhead, but basically it's just limited to memory and a bit of task switching. As we are in enterprise business, that's like something, something we can live with, live with. So let's have a look at the demo. And can we switch? Here I want to start with showing you what Adobe out of the box delivers in AM6.4. It's the body.html HDL file that renders a campaign newsletter page. And you see here all the complexity I was referring to. We have the tables and tables and tables and we have all the inline CSS. And I don't, for example, know what the WebKit text size adjust 100% means and why it is there. And I don't care. I actually don't want to care. Um, what I want to work with is more like that. So this is the exact same, or it does the exact same as what you have seen before. It creates this entire structure you have seen with a single tag, the MJ body. Well, we put some attributes here, some stylings you can configure in the dialogues, and that's it basically. Same for the text component we see here. It's just the MJ text that creates your table cells and everything you need to have a proper layout includes the WCM core component to have the exact same editing experience as you expected from AM. So going to AM, this is how my template looks like. It's the one you've seen on the slides. And it's entirely rendered in MGML and transpiled to HTML via JavaScript. So you have those components here, you have in, the, in place editing in place, like you know it, and in the dialogues you get some styling properties. And here I want to say that this is probably not the production setup. As, as you know, customer projects, they're more different and normally you compose customer components out of the atomic components or core components. So this is more for a demo case, but basically it works the other way around as well. So how does it look like if we render that page? And I will refresh here, even though, yeah, it works the same way. So we see if you request the raw XML, we get the MGML code here. Uh, so we have an MJ body I was just showing, and what we did, we wrapped each of the MJML components with a CQ component to put the editing overlay at the right place. So same rendered without MJML raw, just the HTML. And yeah, here we go, hopefully. So this is the 1,500 lines HTML file of this template. And this is definitely nothing you want to maintain in your projects, neither in a pure front-end project, nor in a project with AM components. So I have two minutes left, so let's check if I get that sent out with campaign. So I have Adobe campaign setup, and the setup is has a delivery created already, which is synced to this exact AM page. I have a connection issue, but it works on the second try. And let's open or oh, wait for it. <laughs> yeah, my mobile connection is actually not the best here. So here we have our June newsletter for default audience. And as you can see in the email tab, which will appear soon after the operation and progress has finished. Yeah, still some time left. So this is the, the template that we have seen. I will go to the source directly, same HTML. And I want to show you that if I send it out, this is one is exactly the one I get and it's responsive. So let me confirm this delivery. Yes, I'm sure. And then switch to my mail client. And hopefully that one appears quickly. Checking for email. Yeah, there we go. So this is how it looks like in Apple Mail. Still loading the images, even though I have them cached. So three, uh, three columns here, two columns there, and now opening the exact same on my mobile device. I hopefully have the same mail here as well. It looks great. Now we have the responsiveness we can see here, and we have these three columns put below each other here as well. And at the end, we even have a piece of code that is injected from campaign. So even the Adobe campaign integration out of the box works with that approach. 
So going back to the presentation. So can we switch back to the presentation, please? With that tools and that knowledge, we truly enabled our developers to let the plane fly higher. And we let them master the challenge of email, responsive email templating. And now they are ready for the fame and for the cheer, um, even though they are not cheating. So before we get to uh, Q&A, let me quickly recap. From a marketer's perspective, we achieve high quality deliveries with a minimal effort and the lowest possible time to market. Technology-wise, we deeply integrated into AM as a product of the Adobe Experience Cloud, but still, we use the community proficiency for email templating and are customizable. And our plans for the future are to get that one production ready. We are not completely there yet, it's just a small step left. Um, and we have some further extensibility features planned, like integrating your custom JavaScript components via AM into MJML that is running in the background. Having said that, thank you for your attention. <laughs>